Okay, so this is our unboxing video that we're doing for the Polini uh, 250 dual spark motor that will be going on the EMG6. And we're just going to talk about um, what we see when we open the thing up. Before we do anything, we want to get some weight um, just so that we can see what the shipping weight is going to be on this thing. So. It's always a good sign that it doesn't weigh much when it's even in the box. So I'll take some pictures as we go as well. So shipping weight total, 72.1 pounds as it's arriving there. Okay, we can take that off of it. We did notice on the very front here, it doesn't look like it did any damage, but um, kind of poked through the box just a little bit there. And paperwork. This should just be all the invoice and shipping information that's here, the bill of lading. And yeah, that's just shipping information. And so let's go ahead and open this thing up. And it looks like the best way is just going to be to pop these top staples. Salvage the box so we can have it to transport once we're done with it here. And it looks like the easiest way to do this is to set it onto the ground. Let's just do that and then we'll lift it right back up out of here. Yeah, it is kind of nice. It's a nice well tube frame around it. Yeah. Take some video of it down here. Go ahead and pull that paperwork out. And then uh, go ahead and pull that radiator out as well. Well, that's come out and we need to pull the whole thing up. Okay, let's just yank the whole thing up then. Okay. So. And. Okay, we'll set the box aside. Let's just spin this around so that we can see what we've got here. Steel frame um, made for the, the shipping. Just kind of protects the whole thing. And it looks like what was sticking through the box was actually um, the bolt that is tying the motor to the case. And then there's a bunch of stuff in here. We'll open that up as well. And uh, radiator right here. So let's go ahead and cut that. Radiator off there. And we'll just go ahead and open that up as well. High quality testing this is. There's the official radiator for the thing. And that's a lot of radiator for that size motor. Should be more than adequate. Um, I saw several blogs online of other people using the thing and thinking that it was too large a radiator. Um, but it's pretty easy to cut down the flow through a radiator. It's really hard to get more when you really need it. So pusher configuration probably is going to be awesome for that application. And oh, it looks here like we've got, why don't you get a pair of dikes? These are pretty big zip ties. And some of the electronics in here. Go ahead and cut that off as well. And their little whiz bang. They send a battery with it as well, but on aircraft, 
Very seldom do we use a lead acid battery, even though this one's pretty small. Uh, nowadays, with the technology that we have, there's so many battery choices that are even higher quality than uh, lead acid battery. Let's take a look at what battery they've got in there. That's yeah, a cute little thing, but it's just a lead acid. You can see that from here. And absorb glass matte technology. So this is better than just a lead acid battery. Um, it'll be interesting. That's pretty lightweight right there. In fact, do we have a scale we can weigh that on? It's not very heavy. And then let's look and see what we've got in our... And this just looks like um, some motor mount pieces. Yeah, let's take a look here. We'll just go through the inventory just so that we can have it on video what's in here. Uh, looks like part of the radiator mount, I would suspect. Something like that. Yep, that's what that looks like. Uh, prop flange. Lined with a faceplate for the propeller, some fuel line, motor mount pieces, one Copper Plus Champion RN2C spark plug, and this looks like a radiator fill. tank right here. Now that is really light. That's amazing there. That's what we like to see. Lightweight, pretty good looking, nice clean setup. I like to see that. So radiator header tank, that'll come in handy. That we'll use because that's a, that's really lightweight. Love all this lightweight stuff. And some more bolts, mounts, some miscellaneous hardware, some uh, hose clamps, some fittings for stuff that I don't yet know what those go to. And some more hose, looks like radiator hose and who knows what else in there. But that's all that. Oh, there's the other spark plug. I thought there was just one there. This is a dual ignition. So it has a um, dual electronic ignition. It has an electric starter on this one. It has a flash starter as well. Really, really clean workmanship on this. Just unbelievably professionally done. Little plugs in the spark plug holes in here. Take a few pictures as we go before we take anything else off. Really good looking tuned exhaust with mounts built right into the engine. It keeps the cross sectional area pretty wide, but even that, you can see how small this thing is. It's just really good looking air box. Um, they do now have some on um, some uh, uh, flanges available to mount the um, carburetor in a different location. What's that battery weigh? 3.48 pounds. Let's do this header tank too. This is pretty light. This is amazing. 0.29 pounds on the header tank. That's really light. And so we're not going to take this out of the mount yet, but kind of get an idea of this is part of the mounting system up here. It's a, um, a block and it looks like all of the mount uh, pieces are on the engine already come with the engine, um, these are the actual physical motor mounts for mounting the engine to uh, the aircraft. They make an additional mounting um, um, plate for pusher airplanes, or I mean for tractor airplanes. CHT or water temp probe there. Looks like a uh, starter solenoid to me. 
This is part of the fuel carburetor uh, reservoir system there. Uh, they changed their design slightly. There's a little T-fitting there instead of a, a hole now. Such a clean looking motor. Little tiny starter. Look at the size of the starter. Really small. Little full uh, pulse bulb in here. Uh, comes with that too. That's pretty cool. This is part of the ignition system. This is part of the um, starter switching box and the testing buttons for testing the uh, individual ignition systems. Fuel pump. It's a pulse type pump running off of the um, crankcase pressure. And that is an awesome little motor. Let's weigh this with uh, without the box and all the goodies on there, just to get a, a number also. It's getting lighter. I don't know how much that frame weighs. We'll have to weigh it with that off there again as well. So we lift this up. springs with some protectors on them. Those are clean looking. So this is going to be an exciting little motor to put on the EMG and see um, how it performs. We will be making more videos in the future and um, as we do each little segment of the motor we'll, um, we'll publish some videos and show you what we're, what we're finding out as we go along with the testing of this motor.